You have disgraced me for the last time. Okay. Uh, the pale. I didn't get a chance to read any of that. <laughs> the moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. Or it will be the last moon you ever see. Okay. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa! Rah! The warrior's sword gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger Returns. <laughs> I had to. Too bad I don't have the Dragon Ball C outro music, or intro music. Okay, Wright and Co. Okay, we're gonna call it Wright and Co. Because before it was Fey and Co. But unfortunately, we inherited the business from Miss Mia. So now we're in uh, October 14, Ryan Co's law offices. Also, I think Mia's part of our team now. That rot. See you in hell, evil magistrate. <laughs> or more like. There we go. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. <laughs> oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? <laughs> He's the most popular TV hero for young people. Young, like, how young? Um, 10 years old? <laughs> then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. And watch it with me. He's really cool and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Still Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. <laughs> Ramps! Well, the Still Samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. <laughs> A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright and Co. law offices. Oh no. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. I hope so too. So two days later, eight. 14 a.m. in his bedroom. Oh. <laughs> Hello. This is Phoenix. N Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. <laughs> it's a still samurai! The still samurai got arrested! Oh no! Uh. Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the still samurai killed a villain. Uh, actual villain? <laughs> um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No! I mean, he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with his super samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> October 16th. Maya's here watching television. Oh, yeah, well, this is pretty much been an hour, I think. I, I'm sorry, I was, uh, I looked away, so I got distracted, so I apologize. And Maya's here watching television. Now, for the morning news, actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the t popular kids show. A seal Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, are you serious? Who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. The spider was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The Samurai spirit was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Hmm. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Seal Samurai is over. The world is over. <laughs> the, the 
Yes, right in coal offices. What? Nick! Uh, it's the Steel Samurai. What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down detention. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. Uh, let's talk to her. <laughs> like, what? Uh, what do we do? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there and like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Seal Samurai. I should want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder. <laughs> or a free autograph. My money's on sightseeing. <laughs> we don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No! We just don't have enough information! Okay. So, I guess we'll just move to the detention center. Ooh. What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Um. Wait. You were upset that the Steel Samurai got arrested and now you were like, okay, never mind, he did it. I, I don't understand. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? <laughs> um. Yes? Something wrong? No, no. This is getting off to a great start. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? Oh no, oh no. No, it's okay. This is real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. Just the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> uh, hold on, we're set. There we go. <laughs> Nick! What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. What? <laughs> okay, so let's talk. Alright, what happened? Maybe you can start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was only yesterday. As I come down to Global Studios for a run-through, we went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal schedule for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 o'clock came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Oh. Yikes. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Strack Hammer. Dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... This steel samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? <laughs> no, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> uh, I see. You know, old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Uh. At least you said to yourself, not making yourself look like an idiot. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9 o'clock. 
can be worked through some extra scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5 o'clock, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5 o'clock. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. Didn't you have cameras in the uh, room where he was napping? He was sleeping the entire afternoon in a murder? Some action hero. I hold on, let me uh, get and uh, hydrate in. <laughs> what will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of murder. Right. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go! I'm willing to bet 10 bucks just for autographs. Uh huh. Alright. So we uh, got everything from him. Do we have, uh, what do we have? Okay, nothing yet. So let's go ahead and head to the studio. Wow, so this is where they make Steel Samurai, the Steel Samurai show. Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey, you there! Old bag. You want in, you gotta go through me. Uh oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. Miss Karen. Oh, bad Karen. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers? Gawkers. Sightseers. Tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Used today. Something horrible happens and all you care is sightseeing. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> Nick? I'm trying to read. I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. Like, I'm not even pressing the button. That's hilarious. Um, Nick? Um, will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. No. Don't worry. I don't know. It's possible. Nick! Hey! <laughs> Listen when you're being spoken to. Use today. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, we'll. As much as I don't want to, we'll have to talk to her about the studios. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days. No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Whoa, whoa. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that a now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then too, he was. Hammer? Affect him, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Hmm, can you tell me about Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose at lunch. That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. You don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Okay. What kind of person was Shrek Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew, Shrek Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. It was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Dynamite Samurai. I want to say Dynasty Warriors, but I'm sure that. I mean, isn't. No, no, no. That's a Koei Timco game. Right, yeah. Tecmo or Tec Tecmo. Something like that. For some reason, I thought that was a Capcom game. What's another. Capcom game that involves Samurai, I don't know. Was it, uh, Sengoku Basura? Hold on. I'm trying to say, what's another? It just stoned me, like, what's another? Was that a Capcom game? Yes, it is actually a Capcom game, yay! So, <laughs> yeah, actually I watched the anime at some point, but I never finished it. Um, I don't know whether, well, I'm sure the game hasn't been re-released in, like, ages. I mean, or rather... I mean, I'm sure the game has not seen a re-release on, I don't know where you can find the game, but of course anime is kind of the best bet right now. But anyway, should I have, 
Should I have heard of that? Uh, but there was some accident during filming five years ago. You got an unlucky break after that. Reduce a plane to fill in on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Okay, why are you so certain that Mr. Powers is a killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock when they found a the body. Now, the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 o'clock and 2.30 when a murder took place. Hmm. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. Great. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Okay, so... I guess we have to go back to the detention center. Hello, how was the studio? Y'all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they want... Let's talk about the security lady. I'm um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. She might be the one that did it. Let's see. I I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Take off that mask were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wits at, at the studio. But let her see you stumble once, and she'll never let up on you. Hmm. She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter from formally requesting my representation? Of course. Okay, so we got a request. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Alright, what else? Girl, bye. Mr. Powers, are you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? But what? No, I never do that. Earlier you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. The security leader says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> actually, it's funny, because I actually have the sniffles right now. My nose is a little stuffed up, so that works. Instead of forcing sniffles. But I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security leader only thought she saw me? What did she see? It doesn't seem to be lying. Like, okay, so remember, let's just go over this now. Um, because... She said that she used to be, I guess, somewhat famous about a decade earlier. But now she's just a security later, a lady, you know, reduced to a, a Karen, rather. And also, um, the fact that she knew, like, the uh, Jack Hammers, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know. She could, of course, she could have not just, you know, known him up close and personally, but like, you know, she could have been a fan and just, you know, uh, she was a stan at some point, so she knew, like, everything that was going on in his life. But, I don't know, like I said, she's also suspicious now, so... The fact that she's adamant about the times for this and that and him, I don't know. We'll see. We'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. So, I think that's, uh, that's all we have to talk about, so we just go back to the... ...studio and present this to her. Ma'am, have a look at this. There's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm. Yes, yes. I recognize a bold, childish scroll. Powers request given to the security lady. Alright. To think he would entrust his fate to use of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, towards the studio. 
No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. A good detective told me himself. Oh, it's probably, uh... I wouldn't say scumbag, but scum shoe. Detective the cum shoe. <laughs> hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Okay, let's see. So the gate is here. We want to go to the main gate in this employee area. So that will help us definitely later. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. What the heck? Isn't this a map, though, that he had? Okay. Yeah, let's just keep going. Screw you, Karen. So let's go to Studio One. Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? I didn't murder anyone, dude. Ah, it's that confused detective. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring, staring gloomily out the window. Um, so. Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. <laughs> um, detective? Is he about to cry? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. <sighs> You're right, pal. <sighs> it's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Uh, hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. <laughs> I say he's a character, all right. <laughs> uh, no, T, let's go. You have to laugh with me. All right, let's uh, talk about the investigation. So, how is your investigation going, detective? Well, it's hey, I can't tell you that, pal. <laughs> Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with questions. Right. So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm. Right. Right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. There you go. Good job. I'm gonna give him a round of applause for that. Okay. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately one o'clock. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Huh, okay. Only one person went to the studio between 1 o'clock and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. Hmm. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, that's the security lady at the main gate. Oh no, we already did that. Nick, is that, if that's true, no one would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Or rather, right, anyone will think of a block. Thanks for cheering me up. Like I said, the wrong word. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Anyway, about the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what powers say? She's a sucker for authority. Oh, yeah, definitely. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Uh, I don't think we'll be able to get this easily. What kind of evidence? Well, that her photo. Photo to steal samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on that gate, pal? That one on the right, or left, rather. The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Oh no! Let's uh, Nick. He has evidence. We're finished. 
funny for someone with hard proof he doesn't look too happy. <laughs> What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> uh, um, we'd like to ask employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find the clues I haven't already found. <laughs> the last one around here seems to be enjoying themselves. <sighs> right. Anyway, Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now it's our chance to check things out. Yeah, you remember that chick said no, um... Uh, no going around any anywhere else. Hold on. Wait. I guess we can ex uh, look at some things. Alright, hey, there's a camera here. That's a security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera. STI-103. I must have the camera ID number. Okay, that's why I'm important. Hmm. Bench. I'm a little bush. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal. <laughs> Detective! Aren't you on the case? Well, yeah, but... Hey, let's detect this guitar standing around too, pal. Okay, what is this? That's actually really sus right there. Studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right, to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. Hmm. It took that tree down with it too. Hmm. So we looked at that. And there's the studio. Entrance to Studio 1. This is the studio where they found track camera's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Uh, hey! It's locked! Looks like you need a card key to get in. Makes sense that they wouldn't would want to keep the non-employees out. But what else is there? A welcome sign? There's a big welcome sign above the path. Yeah, apparently the studio's fallen on tough times. They've started letting people in on days that aren't filming. They make a bit of extra money by charging for admission. Huh. You sure know a lot about this place, detective. You know you could always quit being a detective and work here? Yeah, and what perfect timing with the studio mascot down for the count. <laughs> huh? This what's that supposed to mean, pal? <laughs> okay, uh, what else? Anything else really suspicious here? I don't think that's it, so now... I guess we go back to the main gate, because I think this is where we go back. Hey, Nick, look! A security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. Guess all cops like their donuts. <laughs> yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need tea to chew. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Ethan. <laughs> uh, hey, you. Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Or... <laughs> She had to make my life hard by giving that giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Uh, so why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm. Oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. And another, well, let's see, automatic camera. About the security camera. Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? When it snaps a f then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just feel all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. Okay, I just want to hold you, uh, I want to stop you there. So, this is a little personal story, and I'm pretty sure this is going to bite her in the butt. Um, when I worked at a company which shall remain nameless, uh, uh, it was not just me, but several other people who were subject to, uh, product productivity checks. 
Um, of course, this was all done with computers. So everyone was doing their job like they were supposed to. Like, we were temps, all temps. Like, most of us were temps. Some of the people had been with the company for a while. But, at one point, several people were, including myself, were brought uh, to the manager. And they he questioned me, like, uh, what were you doing at this time? And I'm saying I was working. And so well, I got all these computers that tell me where this person was at what time and you know in this area. So now the uh, I'm trying not to give it away the job function, but we had to check like inventory. So we had to check inventory in a very huge uh, environment, fast, very fast paced environment. Um, we weren't doing fine. This was like you know after the Christmas holiday season. But when we were presented with a question like that, it's not really our fault. Like, we're doing the job we're supposed to. But for some reason, in that period of time when this happened, we had to skip. We had to keep skipping our functions beyond our control because the per I guess the shift before us didn't even bother fixing their data. So now we were skipping information like we did it. But this guy was adamant that he, you know, I was basically not doing anything on the job. And eventually I got ridden up for it, but I think it was just a very childish uh, way to get back at me. But joke's on him because I, since I was a temp, my time was almost up. So I didn't even say bye to him or anything. So that's just one less narcissistic dude to worry about. And I've had enough of those kind of people. And I, I got another story to tell, but no, that's just something that thrown on me because when she said I got this computer over here this few the com photos on the computer over there so you just worry about the stuff on your computer but you don't pay attention to the details and that's probably gonna come back and bite her I check them every day before going home I do hmm. this car station is in a central position no matter where you go here you pass by my station first now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1 o'clock. Murder happened right around 2.30, see? Only one I seen go through here between 1 o'clock and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one what did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? Ah ha 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 ha, yes, that's what I was. <laughs> no, it might be him, it might be her. <laughs> Good one, Sonny. He thinks I was joking. No, like, yeah, we think you did it. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Has tense. I mean, he's... Uh, he was great as the bearded samurai. <laughs> yeah, that too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate is a disgrace, I tell you. Evil Hammer, I mean, evil, wow. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? <laughs> okay. So, I'm pretty sure if you want to go to the employee area, she's gonna stop us. Oh no, we got it. Okay. Alright. Nick! This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Power's dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Yeah, before that, uh, woman comes back. Okay, the door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You never know. There might be something like a samurai spear. We don't need a spear. And that's a murder weapon for crying out loud. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see his name. There's a sign by the dressing room. Will Powers. It must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. Okay, a window. Hmm, a window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Hmm. Nothing here of importance. Let's see a light. Nothing there. Let's see a trash bin. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. <laughs> Wait! Look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first! 
Okay, so nothing here out of the ordinary. See a garage door. I went to the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Well, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in the film studio? Okay, what else? And then we got... No, that's not... See, okay. uh, remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus a steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? <laughs> uh, okay, what else? I think that's it. Uh, let's see. The sky. Nothing suspicious about the sky. Nothing suspicious about the table. The other table, at least. Nothing but the chair. We saw this already. I already looked at that. Okay, so everything is good. And yeah, I guess we can slide on. Okay, I just pay attention to that. All right, uh, let's see, let's look at, there's another part, okay, well, we already did that, a bike, a bike, looks like one of those electric powered bicycles, I don't know about these, I mean, what's the point, it makes, a, makes it a lot easier to go up on heels, but people cycle to get exercise, <laughs> there's a half finished backdrop for a stage here, looks like a castle, Probably neo old Tokyo Castle. And then there's this. What's this all about? The grate that used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if I try I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. Oh you said you don't think you could fit through it. <laughs> the metal grate on the drain here is so taken off. That's a pretty big drain. I can't could fit through here, I bet. Hmm. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Huh. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right. Huh? Hey! I'm not a kid. <laughs> uh, so something else just dawned on me. I think, um, considering that that lady was adamant that she saw Will Powers come in between 1 o'clock and 2.30, maybe... Someone snuck in from here. I don't know. Let's see. What else is there? So we saw the bike. We already saw the something here out of ordinary. Uh, okay. So that's everything. So I guess we'll go back. Um, the dressing room, I guess, is our next option. Howard's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. <sighs> Let's see. So we just examine everything here. Stuff to examine. There's a fast array of cosmetics here. Ooh, this is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. <laughs> And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, uh, kind of like samurai movies. Yeah, we gathered. Kinda. <laughs> Alright, so a mirror. I always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is everything there? There's a bag here. Hmm? This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee car key. That must be powers. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Okay, so we got that. Uh, okay, so it's tea set here. There are a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. <laughs> You just said, how many stomachs does this girl have? I was gonna say, you have. Oh my gosh. Uh. Let's see, this is where he took a nap. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Closet, or rather, rack here. Clothing rack. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. 
Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I see you are already wearing one myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, you already roasted her, so I don't think she needs another roasting. Alright, what else? I think suspicious about the lights. We're already looking at the window and the bed. So I guess we can go back to the um, studio. The main gate. Oh, I just talked to her again. So I'm gonna go here. Yeah, cause we had to examine and then look at this. The entrance is Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this car key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. Yep. All right, it opened. <laughs> Right, we're in. It's way too happy for someone visiting our crime scene. <laughs> okay, let's move to Studio One. Okay. Hmm. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shiver snake? That white tape. It's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And a sealed samurai killed him. The murder weapon was a samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Okay, so salmon. The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected the spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Uh. Hey, look! That's a chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards that clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real life megaphone. Uh. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl's in more trouble than I thought. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then what's that? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. Assistants host it during filming. Huh. What? What's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I want to be the director. Maybe the still samurai. I think she's being serious. <laughs> okay, so we looked at that, we looked at this. What about the ladder? Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. This girl is out there. <laughs> okay, uh, there's a backpack. Oh, we can't even look at that, so backpack. We got a camera here. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you! No touching that. I'm pretty sure it's old bag, right? Oh. Uh, oh, sorry, my partner's kind of, you know, you know, no, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. W Will Powers. Oh, you're, uh, WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't ever you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Okay, let's, let's talk to her. Can you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. I just realized I think that's the security guard out there. But yeah, she's definitely sussy for this. Uh, WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. 
After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. And uh, then I saw WP go into his dressing room. And there's a security guard again. Hmm. But I didn't see either of them after that. Okay, so let's talk about Will. Did you know that Mr. Powers is sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? <laughs> what kind? No, no, no. I'm sure you're a fine girl. Um, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Well, didn't you just say that, uh, Hammer was there? Hmm. Um. Sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling with someone from outside. Really? Hmm. But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. That's right. That someone had to come through that fence, I'm sure. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Okay, so before we... Let's ask her this last question before we end it. Uh, so you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in the witness testimony. Testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Um, I guess we move on to outside? Or is there anything we can examine? I think we examined everything here. We got enough information from... Oh, we didn't look at this yet. Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it. <laughs> Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! Yeah, didn't he say just don't touch it? Oh my gosh. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in Old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not Old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Old Tokyo. Oh, right. Forgot. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Did we examine everything here? The backpack, there's something odd about that. Let's go look at it. So we look at that. We looked at the crime scene, looked at this, and the ladder. So, um, and we talked to her already, already talked about all that. So, let's move back outside, see if we can do anything. Oh, shoot. Uh, do we have to present anything? Let's just keep going to the main gate. Okay, there we go. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Okay, do we have... Oh yeah, this is flame. So. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammersteth was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be! But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, she says she sees everything, but if you remember, just to refresh our memory, there was an open vent that was not in the path of the camera. So someone, you know, maybe it's her, but we'll find out. Anyway, ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> oh, 
All right, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky hair cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh. <laughs> um, uh, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her, she's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays. Blah, 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 blah. And another thing about two about respecting your image. Same one you that use. Ah! Okay, Karen. Okay, Karen. <laughs> she left. Let's just call her Karen instead of old bag. I think that's more polite, don't you think? Ha 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 ha. Yes, Tina thinks so too. Anyway, well, Nick. This is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, we can actually look here. Alright, the computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> Without carrying around, she, sh she should be able to get through, get some more information at least. You know how to work these things, Nick. Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the day of the murder. It looks like the camera on... Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. Hmm. 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Let's enter the number of the security camera. Oh, shoot! Ah, uh, we did not get any of this. Let's see. Hmm... <sighs> Usually the like C or the last the third option is usually the right one. Let's just say it. I had to go back and look. There, entered. Oops, guess not. Nothing happened. Huh? Maybe I got the number wrong. Uh, maybe we should go look at that camera again. Yeah, let's go. Let's uh, go ahead and look. So if we go here. So let's examine. Okay, camera. All you have to do is look at the day and see who. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, shoot, we got it wrong. So we, we were close. We got 370, but it's 307. So. Okay, so 307. Uh, and then back to the gate. And then the camera. Uh, computer, rather. Okay, so 307. We need blah 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 three oh seven. There we go. There, enter. Yay! Hold on, correct answer. There we go. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Huh? Okay, this is new. How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine a detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. <laughs> hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15, 2 p.m. Photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Okay, so we got this. Um, powers, a questionable photo of powers of taking it to a PM. So, hey, hey, Nick, can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. <laughs> hey, that's what I said. Anyway, <laughs> let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemies too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? <laughs> Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for the day? Yes, are we done for the day? I feel like those one around and we could have looked at. I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really was that security lady. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, considering her attitude towards us. Ah, to be continued. Okay.